this is the definition of breaking news. All of this literally happening in real time. Like the runoff between these two candidates, this race was really close. So let's take a look at the tally. You see ABC News, as you mentioned, Cheryl, has projected Raphael Warnock to uh, win another term or to, to start a full term in the Senate. He'll get six years now. This is updated, so this is Eastern time, but this was just updated uh, at 10.03 uh, our time. And you see right here how close this was. 1,748,460 votes to 1 million, uh, 1 million 692,754 votes. It was quite the night and it was voters in Atlanta who helped push incumbent Senator Raphael and Warnock across the finish line and candidate uh, cameras were rolling on his campaign headquarters when this race was called. They're still partying there as we wait to hear from the senator, but we have heard from Herschel Walker. He just spoke and his campaign had told CNN he will concede this race. I have not heard this soundbite yet because like I said, this just happened. I'll listen with you. One of the things I want to tell all of you is you never stop dreaming. I don't want any of you to stop dreaming. I don't want any of you to stop believing in America. I want you to believe in America and continue to believe in the Constitution and believe in our elected officials most of all. A gracious defeat and speech from Herschel Walker. Now, this is a live look at Raphael Warnock's headquarters. We expect to hear from him in the coming minutes. We'll bring you the latest on this on our news in the morning, and you can watch uh, some details on our streaming as well. Senator Warnock will now serve a full six-year term representing the state of Georgia. Earlier tonight, before this race was even called, President Biden stepping off Air Force One, a reporter asked him what he thought about Georgia. He confidently told reporters, quote, we're going to win. We're going to win Georgia. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.